Hi and welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to meet you and teach you how to create a complete website. Okay, so let's get started. Now, at the beginning, we are going to create a website. So I need to go after opening the Dreamweaver. I will pick the site and then create a new site. I will name it, let's say, uh, cars website and uh, it's definitely clear that I'm going to talk about cars I'm going to pick the place I already created a folder guys uh, on my documents it is called cars website so this is my folder I will pick this one and again I'm going to go to advanced setting and I'm going to pick the default images folder which already I created and inserted some images car images that I'm going to use in the project so I will pick this one and after I finish I will save this website so I have a website here now I'm going to start creating my HTML pages now before we start or before we create HTML pages we talked in the first lesson about something called storyboard and designing my website so before you start you need to know the number of pages you will have you need to know the content of the pages okay you need to know the purpose of the website and also pick up the colors and all these things now this one you need to sit with, with yourself and decide and determine what you are going to use and what is the content of your page this should be done prior creating HTML pages but now I'm going to just uh, compromise and uh, invent some Kind of pages uh, it will not be like that great because we are doing it, uh, going to do this within 15 to 20 minutes but this uh, actually will take a lot of time so this is the first page and in this page I'm going to create my template and I'm going to repeat this template for the whole website that I'm doing now as an advice this is what I used to do, I mean. This is one of uh, the types of the ways that you create a website template is to insert a table. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to insert a table. Now, follow me in this, okay, you will understand later. I need the number of rows to be four and I need the number of columns to be as per the number of pages you are going to create in your website so let's say we have five pages so my website will have four columns and it will have five uh, sorry four rows and five columns the table width it will be 70% or 80% from the web page and the border thickness it is one uh, I will leave the cell padding and these things I don't want the header I will just create my table so now, if you see this is the table that I created I can select the table okay I can select the complete table not from the above uh, list from this one select the table and from viewing the properties bar I can align my table to be in the center so now my table is in the center now what I'm going to do is that this will be my page header which will have usually the banner of the website these will be holders for the links and this will be the body and finally the footer in order to make it more clear I will just select the first row right click point to table and I will merge the cells I will leave the second row as it is and I will merge also the sec the third row and I will merge the last row as well now in order to make it more clear this will be my content okay this is going to be my banner and these are going to be the links so let's say my website consists of home page it also have uh, about us it has uh, for example a gallery uh, it has uh, contact 
us and finally we will uh, type let's say important or links useful links Oops. okay so this is my website now I'm going to insert my banner here of course you will create your banner in advance but in my case in order to uh, make this quicker I will insert a ready made banner that I took from the internet of course using Photoshop skills or illustrator you can create your own banner you can um, type a text if you want it's up to you but it's better to be an image so I just picked any banner okay as we are facing this uh, uh, coronavirus so uh, this is my banner I can increase it okay I can increase the width and the height in order to fit in my uh, Banner. Now, hopefully, it's the 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 idea is getting clear, more clear. This is my uh, navigation bar, okay. And also, we have we can also uh, make it in the center. This is my body, and this is my footer. In the footer, usually, they type something like copy, right, twenty twenty. Okay, I will also make this in the center. Now guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create five pages and link them together. In order to do so, I will do linking before, so it will be unified for everyone. So I will just assume that I have a home page and about us page, gallery, contact us and useful links. In order to do so, I will just go to the insert menu I will type or uh, pick a hyperlink and I will link home into home.html I don't have the page ready yet but I'm going to name it after 10 minutes as home.html now the second one about us I'm going to do the same I will link it into something called about us.html remember the names okay I will use the names later on now the third one I'm going to link it to a page called gallery so I will type here gallery.html and the same thing for contact us uh, insert hyperlink contact us.html and finally I will do the same for the useful links and I will uh, insert a hyperlink let's say I will link it to links.html so what I know now is that this website is linked I can play with the properties of the page and I can change the appearance as I want the text color the background color Okay, I can let's say pick this gray color instead of make it like this boring white um, I can change the text color I can change the size or the font let's pick uh, this font the size I'll keep it the same the text color you can change it to anything you want you can go to the links and make the links also with a different color instead of the blue I can make it let's say red just in order to make it a uh, little distinguished and I, I press ok so now we have this new design of my web page now what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this page as home and I'm going to make a heading for my page um, let's pick heading one and I'm going to use a website that has uh, dummy text okay just type in the internet dummy text you will find this website as the first you can just uh, pick any 
you know type of text to insert it in my page I, because I don't want to type you know uh, but in, when you are doing uh, your website you need to put a proper content okay so this is my home page what I'm going to do now guys is I'm going to save this page file save as and I'm going to save it as home.html in the same cars website now I'm going to go to about us so let's say about us and I'm just going to change the layout here to add some kind of uh, let's say uh, list items okay just in order to change the view or to make a difference okay we have Toyota cars we have Nissan we have uh, Ford and we have folks okay uh, I'm going to save this as about us exactly like I wrote it in the link now I'm going to use the gallery in order to display the gallery I will remove the content now from here and I'll try to insert the cars images I use from the internet okay so in order to do so I also need to insert another table that is inside this table okay that has uh, two or three rows by two cars because I have uh, uh, six cars and I will make it 50% and I can make the border thickness zero so it will not show up when I view the web page now in these four six cells I'm going to insert six images the images are here so the car one image and this is also the car two image car three so it's like a gallery uh, for my website this is car four not car four it's car number four and then car 5 and finally car 6 after we finally insert the 6 cars in the gallery okay I'm done with the gallery uh, tab or the page so I'm going to go to the contact us page um, I can um, also file save as contact us.html and I can change this into contact us I will remove the table that has the images with the image itself and then I can create a contact us uh, let's say form we can do a form I can also use another table in order to organize my work let's say if it has five rows and two columns uh, zero border the width is 50 okay now I can type here for example name uh, email uh, interest uh, feedback just anything as an example I will insert here uh, in the forms I will insert something called text so this is my text field which has the name and the other one I can copy and paste here in the interest I can also pick a form and insert what we call uh, checkbox uh, checkbox group and this checkbox, uh, checkbox group we can add the first one let's say Toyota uh, the second one Nissan and also we can add the third one uh, we name it Ford right and the last one is uh, Volkswagen and after I finish I will click OK 
So we will have a checkbox now, and in the feedback, we can insert what we have. Uh, let's say a comment. So we will use what we call text area in the forms. There is something called text area. Yes, this is it. And in this text area, I can insert any comments I want. Of course, we won't use any type of uh, of buttons that will work properly. Okay, so we can insert just a button that will look like a button, but it will not perform uh, well. Okay, we will insert something called. Um, what is the form? I'm getting tired, I think. This is the forms. We will s select something called button, okay, or submit button. So it's here. Um, if you try to select it, okay, uh, you will see that there is nothing that will uh, take me to another link. But you can say you can type let's say submit and show you something okay and this submit i will just simply make a hyperlink that will take me to a page called submit that i will create just now html okay and the target will be uh, blank so it will open new page so this will take me to submit i'm done with the contact us as well i just decrease this page like this uh, finally i will uh, create the last page which is useful link if i save as links exactly the same i name it links and I will uh, remove this table and replace it with something else uh, let's say uh, any type of links uh, Toyota services Nissan service and whatever I will not just uh, concentrate on this and I will save this page finally I will create the last page which is the uh, submit button so I will save this as uh, submit small s submit.html and in the submit I will just type one thing it will just create some kind of interaction thank you for sending us your feedback okay i'll save this one my website is ready guys it's ready for publishing except it needs some code in order to submit um, the form and this we will use later on in our uh, next uh, coming lessons okay so i will test my website i will just refresh these pages now home is here about us gallery contact us useful links if I fill something here let's say Khaled email Khaled at gmail.com I'm interested in Toyota and Ford uh, thanks for the nice cars and if I click on submit it will take me to this uh, illusionary page okay it is not working but it's somehow of uh, some kind of interacting okay um, this is all for now guys uh, next time uh, as per request from some students or some followers I would going to explain the boost RAM that is used with Dreamweaver and it will add a lot of creativity in our website for the moment hope you enjoy and I will ask you to create your own website you can use templates you can use uh, this kind of uh, design or create your own thanks for watching stay safe and see you later on